Cobra King forged one length irons. So all exactly the same length as a 7 iron. Fairly thin top line and a quite compact head, so certainly aimed at the better player. Uh, got some kind of just light blue and orange colour in the back, kind of keeping the theme that Cobra have had with those colours for the last couple of years. But all in all, a great looking players club that's just going to have a little bit of forgiveness for those slight misses. So guys, I've got 4N, 6N and 8N and we can see with them stood in front of me quite randomly, they're all the same length. So the theory with the irons from Cobra for this year, just with the one length irons, is that every iron is going to be the same length, same lie as a 7 iron. Hopefully making it easier for you guys to be more consistent in what you do and hit better shots through every club in the bag. So we're going to hit three shots. I've done a little bit of testing first just to kind of get used to setup and things, but I'm going to hit three shots, real balls, GC2 with 8N, 6N and 4N. We're going to hit them kind of at a target just to see how they'd kind of go into a green and how they'd react. We're going to talk about some of the, the theory behind this and some of the technology. We're going to see how they perform most importantly and whether this will be something that you might be willing to put in your bag or certainly something that you might be willing to try. So, a time. <clears throat> now, I do a lot of custom fitting anyway. So, everything's seven iron length. So, in theory for me, this is just like half inch longer than standard. But certainly when you set up to the golf ball, as an eight iron, it, it does feel that little bit longer behind the ball. And certainly in testing, I need to be quite conscious that I make sure I remind myself I'm setting up distance from the ball from a seven iron. Even though with my coaching, I talk to pupils about place your hands on the club, get the club behind the ball, and that dictates your distance from the ball. I still think for me there's that little preconception that 8 iron I want to stand closer, 6 iron I want to be further away than a 7 iron, 4 iron I want to give myself a bit more space. So I had to feel that I consciously made myself think about that I was setting up with a 7 iron. Now, the one thing I did need to change with my setup is I did still feel that I needed to move my ball position around. So short iron, central, longer clubs, more towards the kind of front foot, which changes my angle of attack slightly, but also changes my swing direction in order for me to be able to get my path and club face where I want to impact. So the theory of exactly the same swing with every iron, I'm not wholly convinced on that, but let's hit some shots and see how the clubs themselves perform. So 8 iron, I've got the pin, kind of 150, 151 yards, around about where I would normally hit 8 iron. So if anything felt a tiny bit out of the toe, but again, it'd be on the green, good shot. So again, didn't feel the best of strike, but I would take, any time I hit the ball on the green, I would take that, that's more than acceptable for me. So second shot with the A-10, again, just got to remind myself about my distance from the ball and make my swing. That felt a better strike. And we can see that one much more at the flag. If anything, slightly past the flag, but really good shot. And we do one final one with a turn. I mean, I think the look and the feel of the actual head itself, fantastic. Looks really more like a, more of a player's club. So it certainly appealed to me visually. I could just get GC2 to pick the ball up. That'll be absolutely perfect. Okay, so third shot with a turn. Got one good one and one kind of solid one on the green. Again, felt decent. Pretty much at the target. Oh, that was my first ever hole in one. But three, fairly typical what I would expect from an A turn. For me, that didn't feel hugely different. Now, what I would say with the clubs is what they've managed, what they've had to do with the club heads is because normally the shafts change lengths, so there's different weights for the club. With the shorter clubs, because the shafts are longer, they've actually gone lighter with the heads. And then opposite way, as the clubs get shorter with the long ends, they're having to just 
adjust the weight accordingly and put more weight into the head in the longer stuff. But A time, impressed. Let's load a six iron up. Okay guys, so we've moved six iron, I've pulled the green a little bit further back, so kind of one seven five. I think I'd normally expect to pitch six iron probably one seven one, one seven two. Now, again as I switch to six, for me because these two clubs are kind of quite close to seven iron, it doesn't feel massively different. Yeah, you know, I think it still looks great behind the ball. Again, just gotta make sure I don't give myself that extra room. Turn that over a little bit more. It's just going to miss the green just left. But in a few extra yards, carry was about right. So, I thought strike was decent. Let's just get ready for shot number two. Probably just need to allow for my little bit of a draw. You guys can comment whether you think it's a little bit of a draw or a hook. Now that didn't feel quite as good a strike. So it's on the green, a little bit short, but again nice and forgiving. I'd like that. You know for me one where I don't quite strike it. And one final one with six down. I think it's intriguing this though. I mean I think for you guys, a lot of you guys who have played a long time, I think the initial concept of having one length iron might be a bit challenging, but for guys who are very new to the game, I think it'll be make a lot of sense. It felt more like the kind of shot I would hit. Maybe it felt a little higher than I would normally hit it. But again, I'd take that. You know, good solid shot, heart of the green. And again, performing very like I would expect a six iron to perform. So let's switch from six to four. Now, for a four iron, I think I'd normally be pitching it around 190. So I've pulled the flag back to just under 200. Hardest thing when I'm comparing clubs with these is actually picking the right ones up, because I'm so used to looking at different lengths as well as the different lofts. But this is where it feels very, very different. And I think I'll be interested, because I'm going to get my hands on a full set, probably just through the side of Christmas. For me, six and eight being just either side of seven didn't really feel different. But this forehand feels tiny. Now, again, if I compare it to the A10, it's not. It's exactly the same length. But again, I think that preconceived idea in my mind that historically what a forehand feels like, this feels really, really small. But lofts according. I mean, 7 iron is at 33. I think forehand's 23. So massively stronger you know I, I was honestly expecting four irons and things to have to get down to kind of like 18 19 degrees in order to get distance so let's see if we get proper distance with this four iron it's a good strike didn't quite turn over so i think that might just cling on to the right edge distance was absolutely perfect for me, trajectory of shot was good. <clears throat> Again, I'd have worried that maybe because I don't generate the speed, that I wouldn't have got the ball up and flying. But certainly with able to move, put more weight in this head, they're able to move the centre of gravity a bit lower. And then equally with the more lofted clubs being lighter, the centre of gravity is not going to be right down at the bottom, so they're not going to balloon if they're a little bit more lofted. But first four round, pleased. Number two. Well, I've lost my draw. That one's going to hang out to the right again. And distance is good. <clears throat> and I, I know I'm going to miss, miss greens down to accuracy. That's down to me just not quite getting my club face where I want it. My path's usually pretty consistent. So I've hit two. I've aimed a little bit right to my draw. I've aimed, hit two pretty straight ones. So, unheard of for me. Let's go for the straight one with the four iron. Oh, that's good. That's a super strike. And we look at the shot. Oh yeah, take that all day long. 
So pitch 194. So the big thing for me there is with all the clubs, I think it was interesting how obviously the same they felt. Um, I would stress that these lie angles aren't necessarily right for me. So possibly the fact that starting to lose that little bit of shape could have been down to lie angle there. Could just have been me. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I'm not necessarily the most consistent with my shots. But let's look at some overall numbers for the clubs and see how the Cobra Forged one length iron performs. Okay then guys, so if we look at eight iron to begin with, we are looking at, and ignore club head speed here because I'd expect, if I put the dots on to use HMT, I expect club head speeds to be very similar. Uh, what GC2 is trying to work out is because the irons change the club head, speed would have changed relative to ball speed. <coughs> But if we look there, we've got a backspin with eight iron of 7,600. Absolutely where I'd want to be. Carrying 149. Perfect. Uh, six iron backspin at 5.4. Again, you happy with that? Carrying 169. And there was a pretty poor strike on there. And a four iron backspin of 4,500, which is very, very appealing, uh, with an average carry of 188. <coughs> We also look at the heights of the shots, uh, you know, all kind of just around that 30 yard peak height. So me performing very, very well. Okay guys, so we've looked at the numbers for this club and like I said, it's only four iron, six iron and eight iron and I'm very interested to get like a full set and get out on the course and play. But for me, my initial concerns with this one length theory would be, would I still get the expected level of performance as I moved club to club. Did I get that? Absolutely. Now, I think a lot of the theory is very sound. Like I said, I don't think it's one swing. <clears throat> so I think that is the challenge. I do think ball position has to change. And therefore, like I said, just to get your path the same, because the ball's in a different part of the arc, the direction of the swing is going to change slightly to keep that club path. But that's maybe getting into technicalities of the golf swing do i think one length is a good theory yes is it a new theory no i saw single length irons late 80s early 90s i know tommy armor for example did a set and it never really took off i think it's a struggle when something's very very different for golfers to actually embrace it i think back then as well there was no other there was no big name player using it so i think Cobra have got an opportunity with Bryson DeChambeau using it. As long as Bryson plays well, I think guys will be willing to try it. I think for guys who are very established with their... Cobra call them variable length, but I'm going to say traditional length times. <clears throat> I think the challenge is going to be getting them to try them to begin with. I think if they try them, they'll be very, very pleased with what they find. Big challenge... Biggest challenge, I think, is going to be is are there going to be enough places where guys can try one length iron. And if they're getting fitted for one length iron, there's no point in just fitting around a seven iron because then it becomes the same as every other club. They Guys need to be able to hit four iron, five iron, nine iron, wedge, gap wedge. They need to see if that theory is something they're comfortable with and something that works for them. It, I mean, it should work for them if they swing anything like similar club to club. But all in all, Cobra King forged one length iron, very impressed, super impressed that there's a bigger, more forgiving model, which will be coming to my channel very, very shortly, the F7. I'm going to test those. I'm interested how they maybe, do they hit it further than these? But for me, my performance, this club performed absolutely fantastically. So guys, as ever, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, comment below, let me know if you've tried one length, whether it's Cobra or somebody else. Let me know if you've got them in your bag already and what improvement it's made. I'll try and get back to as many comments as I can. 